pleasure. Good evening, everyone. Now, before I start my speech, I'd like to say how beautiful my wife looks today. Yeah. On behalf of my wife and I, I'd like to start by thanking each and every one of you for being here today in Lanzarote to celebrate this special day with us. Your presence means the world to us and we really appreciate it. I want to express our gratitude to our family and friends for their unwavering love and support throughout this journey. And without you all, this day would not be possible. And as we embark on this new chapter together, I'm filled with excitement and anticipation for all the adventures that lie ahead with Lana by my side. So thank you all for joining and celebrating our love today. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Today is the intimate and personal celebration of Alana and Lewis. This is the moment when they express who they are as individuals and who they are as a couple. In every human culture throughout history, we find marriage. It's an exclusive union between two people. The wedding ceremony is a moment in time where the couple express their commitment and solemnize their decision that of all of the people on earth, this is the one they've chosen to walk their path of life through with. Today is a unique wedding. It's unique because of the combination of time, the place, and because of the two of you and your beautiful family. We've come together to unite, to bless, to share your joy, and to celebrate your love. My friend, you have Maybe we are supposed to meet the wrong people before we meet the right one. So when we finally arrive, we are truly grateful for the gift we have been given. Maybe it's true. We don't know what we have lost until we lose it, but it is also true that we don't know what we are missing until it arrives. Maybe the happiest of people don't have the best of everything, but make the best of everything that comes their way. Maybe the best kind of love is the kind that when you sit on the sofa together, not saying a word, and walk away feeling like it's the best conversation you've ever had. Maybe once in a lifetime you find someone who not only touches your heart, but also your soul. Someone who loves you for who you are and not what you could be. Maybe the art of true love is not about finding the perfect person, but also about seeing an imperfect person perfectly. Like Alana sees Lewis and Lewis sees Lana. Good luck. You don't have a tissue on you, do you? Just... Cries. Oh, this guy, Oh, come on, because you're leaving the feed loca, huh? Alana and Lewis's love story began back in 2013, when they were instantly drawn to each other. Their feelings were so strong that having only dated for a few months, they decided to move to Ibiza for the summer. This year, 2024, marks 10 years since that summer. During this decade, 2017 marked an incredibly important year, as that's the year that Fraser came into the world. The arrival of Fraser further cemented this strong bond and created this special family here today. Lewis loves Alana's intelligence, her loyalty, and how great she is at being a mum. He says he'd be lost without her. Alana loves how Lewis keeps them both smiling every day, how he brings out the lovable side in them both, and shows that if they've got each other's company, then they're happy. His hello was the end of her endings. Her laugh was their first step down the aisle. His hand would be hers to hold forever. His forever was as simple as her smile. He said she was what was missing. She said instantly she knew. She was a question to be answered, 
and his answer was, I do. As I bind this cord around you, I also bind your lives together as one. Alana, Lewis, and Fraser. And this knot that I tie symbolizes the love that you all have. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. I wish you every happiness. And I'm pleased to announce you as Mr. and Mrs. Griffin.